Hello, my name is Desislava Rabacheva and I'm part of the Ecospace team. In this video, we continue with topic number 5 – Furniture Modeling. As I mentioned in the previous video, in this topic, we will continue our work with this scene. Let's start with the modeling of a wardrobe according to a photo. We will put the wardrobe here. For this purpose, we will use match photo. In order to make your model, the image with which you will start depends very much. The picture I will use is this. You can see well the two sides and the perspective is good. To turn on match photo, go to camera, select the option match new photo. Now we will need to find the photo we downloaded. I select the photo and click open. You see the lines that allow you to adjust the axis so that they are aligned with those in your photo. You need to align the red and the green lines with the perspective lines of the image. Let's pay attention to the default tray. We have several styles inside, above and outside. If you are going to make a building, it is good to choose outside. We make an interior, for this we will use inside. The most important point is this origin. When you zoom in the mouse, we'll display this message. Adjust origin for useful start for sketching. This is the first and most important point we need our base point and I will apply it on a point that is closer to me, this one. Now I just click on it, pull and place it. Then I have to adjust the red and the green lines. You can grab the line in the middle and move it or grab it to the first and the second point so you can adjust the perspective. Once I've set the red, I need to set the green lines too. The moment I bring the mouse closer to the blue axis, SketchUp displays this message – zoom in or out. Once you have set up each of the lines, you can proceed to modeling your object. I will measure the height of the wardrobe. At the moment, the height does not correspond to the size that should be my wardrobe. It's a good idea to have the basic dimensions to start with before you start working. I know that this wardrobe is with a height of 200 cm. Since I work in millimeters, I enter 2000 and I press enter. This should be the height of my wardrobe. I click edit match photo. Now I can adjust the height of my object. Now I will choose the tape measure tool again and put a guide for the length of the wardrobe, which is 2200. Now I can take a line and start outlining my wardrobe. I know the width of my wardrobe 550. And now if I scroll with the mouse, I can see what the wardrobe looks like so far. I will now select the rectangle tool 
and close all sides. If we click on the name of the wardrobe, we will return to match photo. Now we can continue our work on the doors. They are at the same distance from each other. My wardrobe is divided into five equal parts, which means that each part should be 44 centimeters. I will make a guide again. I will write 440. Then I will press Enter. We also have three lockers that we can outline. The option is to draw on the photo itself or again to put guides at equal distance. Now I will make my guides and I will outline them. I will put guides to know how high the handles will be and not to draw them, I will take ready 3D models from 3D warehouse and I will apply them. Now let's move to the part with the materials. In the previous videos I show you how to use a paint bucket tool. Now with the paint bucket tool we will apply materials on the wardrobe we just created. When you click on the paint bucket tool it will automatically open in the default tray category with materials. The first category you will see is color named. But let's take a look at what the SketchUp library consists of. From the drop-down menu we can see each of the materials divided into categories. There is a category for bricks, a category for patterns, tiles, a category for woods and many more. I will go back to color named and take this white color with the name Snow. If we return to Match Photo, we see how in the middle of the wardrobe it is white. The other parts are in wood. If we go back to the SketchUp library, and choose a wood. Sometimes we will may not find the material we are looking for. Now we will look at how to create a custom already made images. There are several options for you to put a new material in SketchUp. First, let's look 
at where we can download textures from. The site from which I will download texture is SketchUp Textures Club. There are a lot of materials. When you like one of the materials, keep in mind that one material is for free users and the other is only for club members only. Before we make the custom material, I will show you another place from which you can download materials and that is 3D Warehouse. If you like material that is attached to any of the models, click on 3D model but instead of downloading it, click on see more details to see all the information about the model. On the right, under Model Info, it's written the number of materials in this model. We click on Materials and all the materials that have been used appears and we have an option to download in them. Now, I'm going back to my scene. I will show you how you can apply textures. Once. I've downloaded a texture from a site, click on File, Import, choose the option Textures, select the image and click Import. The material is now in SketchUp, but know that SketchUp does not allow me to put this material. If I want to apply the texture, I have to put it on one of these faces. To place it, click for a starting point and for the end point. Then you will release the mouse. Your material is already attached. We can use the pipette to select this material and when we select it, it in materials, its name appears. We can change his name. If we choose Edit, we have an additional settings for the materials. We can change the color of our material. We can change the size of the photo. Once we have selected the material, we can apply it to the other faces and our wardrobe is ready. And all I have to do is select it and make it a group. Let's copy this model and let's take back to the other scene I'm working on. Of course, if we want, we can make changes to the wardrobe. Now I'm going to speed a little bit the video. I'll add more textures, materials and download more stuff from 3G Warehouse. I hope you stay with me and see what happens to our scene and how it develops.
I will leave the materials as they are now. In one of our next videos, we will have a special topic for V-Ray and Twin Motion. There, we will show you how you can replace the materials we used in SketchUp with those from V-Ray and from Twin Motion. We will finish our scene, show you both softwares and make some renders of this bedroom. Thank you for being with me in this video, Furniture Modeling. You can follow us on social media to find more useful content.